Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Rory Gnesis, and this is the third episode of our Copeland's Library. If you are new to this channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell button beside it for more updates. In today's video, guys, I'm going to introduce to you the bakwe, step, brush, and hop. And later on, I'm going to, to combine them together with some walks, lateral, and high and high end. So without any further talk, let's get into it. So first is step. Step is to advance or recede by raising or moving one foot to another resting place. There is a complete transfer of weight from one foot to another. So it's like this. Now, let's make three steps forward. One, two, and three. And that is step. Next is brush. But before I'm going to introduce to you the brush, I'm going to tell you which one is the heel and which one is the ball. So here is our ball and this one is our heel. Brush. Weight on one foot, hit the floor with the ball or heel of the other foot or the free foot, after which that foot is lifted from the floor to any direction depending on what is being said in a dance literature or what is mentioned in a dance literature. So now I'm going to show you how to do the brush. Brush to the ball and then I prefer to, reach, to raise it in front of me. So that's it. Again, brush your left ball raise in front of you and then let's do it with the other foot brush right ball raise in front of you and that is the brush next is hop a spring from one foot landing on the same foot in place or in any direction the other foot may be raised in any direction in front in rear sideward or across but I chose to raise my free foot in front because in brush, we have to brush it and then raise in front. So let's combine it with the brush. Now I'm going to show you how to do the hop. So for the right foot, hop, raise the free foot in front of you and then hop on your left foot, hop and raise the right leg in front of you or the right foot in front of you now let's do the hop moving forward with the left and right foot alternately hop 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 and that is hop next is stroke cross the right foot in front of the left foot bend the body slightly forward and cross the hands or forearms down in front with the right or left hand or forearm over the left or right forearm. And this is a Visayan turn. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. Now let's do it simultaneously. Guys, please take note that when we do sarok, we don't point because sometimes our students might outbalance or fall because of the weight. So we have to put it on our, I mean, we have to put the weight on the right foot also to do the sarok. Or you can also do it with the other foot or leg. And with the left hand over the right hand. And that is the Sarok. So guys, I'm going to introduce you another dance step, which is Bakwe. So Bakwe step. Music in three, four time. So the top will be one, two, three to a measure. So we have four measures. So we have to count it. Or we have to repeat it four times. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
So back way, right. So rock, point right foot across the left in front, bend the body slightly forward, and cross hands down in front with the right hand over the left hand. Let's count. One, two. So it's like this. One, two. And then step right foot in second position, trunk erect, and raise right arm to fifth position amplified. Count three. So it's like this. Step the left foot across the right in rear and close the right arm to fifth position. Count one, two. Next, step right in second position and open arm to fifth position amplified. Count three. We'll just repeat it. And then step left foot sideward right across the right in front. Close right arm to fifth position. Count one, two. So this time in front. Then step right in second position and open right arm to fifth position amplified. Count three. So same still there, kasi dito move mo tayo. And let's do it. Step right foot in second position and open arm to fifth position amplified. Count three. And close left to right in first position. Close arm to fifth, posi fifth position. Count one, two, three. One, two, three. Left hand remains on waist for the last three measures. So I prefer it this way. And that depends on what is mentioned on also on a dance literature. So for the back we left, we'll just repeat the same movement starting with the left foot going to sideward left. Reverse the position of the arms and this step is originated from the design origin. Now let's combine them together and of course we have to put aesthetic to it for some beauty. Kasi ang pakit naman tingnan pag presayaw natin yung mga dancers natin like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So ang pakit naman pag ganun, so let's put some aesthetic or beauty to it. So, like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, other foot, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So guys, it's not getting amplified. It's like diagonal. So it's like this. And then back to fifth position. Step brush up. I'll put some high and higher to it. Para mas maganda siya. Okay, so without any further talk, let's combine it together with the music. So another reminder guys, we, we make aesthetic or we put aesthetic or beauty to a choreography para yung mga bata natin sa stage maganda tingnan at magaan tingnan. Kasi minsan yung wave na makatulong siya magpagaan sa mga kamay ng mga students natin or dancers natin. So that's why we put aesthetic to it.
I hope that you learned a thing or two from this video and if you do, please give it a big thumbs up. You can share this to anybody, your friends, your colleagues who wants to learn pole po dancing. Guys, please don't forget to comment down below the new staff and terms that you want to know. Just comment down below and yeah, please consider hitting the subscribe button and beside it is the bell button. Please click it to have more updates on this channel. So thank you so much guys and I will see you again next time. Once again, this is Rory Nassis saying let's embrace, love, and preserve our culture. Bye!